Well, it's uh, 2 30. Stop raining. It's been raining all morning. I shouldn't say all morning. It started raining about maybe 11. The mumbles man and the guru went to the land of the Nada at the crack of dawn. Didn't do much. I've got to go pick up 12 lawnmower blades and some knives. And I got all my stuff with me. If it don't rain, I'm not far from the land of Nada. I'm planning on a spin. I'll get back to you. I don't like it. Nada's over this way. I got about 12 miles to go this way to get the lawnmower blades and the knives. <laughs> Plus I gotta stop at Wawa and get some gas. Chris said it was 269 today at the Wawa down where she was. 269, that's like 10 cents cheaper than it was last week. But I see on the news oil's gone down. I like the sound of that too. Look at that. Good gracious me. No justice in this business. Gone down two cents since she was here. Two sixty-seven. I like it even better. And I get five cents off of that for being a wild wild customer. Well, I stopped to pick up the knives at one of my drop-off places, and my knives turn out to be one hedge trimmer. And it's raining. I'm headed to my other location now. I got eight miles eight minutes to go three I don't know how many miles it is it's not a gully washer here right now but it's still dark I hate it you won't be able to see it very well but there's a big development going on right now where that sign says for lease and you might be able to see that big giant sand hills of dirt they got piled up there and as we go by I'll show you a 16th century brick home. Well, that was a great big farm for a long, long, many years. We you know, dated way back into the early 1600s. I don't know what the name of the farm was, but there's a surfboard builder buddy of ours named Kit who lived there. His family owned it, and they developed off a lot of it, but kept, oh, I don't know how many acres they kept, but once in a while, he would let us all go in and hunt. And I'm telling you, that was a fantastic spot right there. That's the only place around here that we know of that you could find Revolutionary War relics. And we found a lot. I never I never found anything with some old coins, but one of my buddies found a piece of a, a flintlock pistol, uh, all kinds of old coins. It's unbelievable what came out of that place right there. And just up the road a ways, there's another spot that uh, a buddy of ours named Anthony hunted about four years ago when he first got his E-Track. And he found some really nice old coins and Revolutionary War stuff. He found a string of buttons. He found a couple loose buttons. Then he found a string of brand new, never used Here's the uh, brick house coming up on the right. That was an actual farmhouse from the 1600s. They got it all jacked up with wires. They're going to move it someplace. Well, anyway, getting back to Anthony's buttons. He found a whole string of buttons. I think it ended up being like 13. And when he cleaned them all up, they were sterling silver officer's coat buttons from the Revolutionary War. That was one of the greatest finds I think I've ever seen in my life. And they're worth, at that time, roughly 450 bucks a piece. <laughs> and if we go up here to the next stoplight, no, this stoplight right here, London Bridge, yeah, London Bridge Road. There was an actual battle. Uh, I don't guess it was a battle, but it was the, it was the Princess Anne Militia, which this is called Princess Anne, where the courthouse is. And the British troops had a little engagement here. 
and they beat the breath out of the Princess Anne militia. So maybe they were all camped back there in that area back there. Nobody really knows any of that. But there's a lot of Revolutionary War action right in this block where we are now. That's pretty cool, I think. And when I started developing that lot, I was lucky enough to know the guy who was developing. So I called him up. I said, hey, buddy, old pal, old friend. He said, forget about it. Nobody going in there. Insurance won't let nobody go in there, he said. So all those nice relics are gone forever. God, I hate it. And you can see it's still raining. I hate that too. But I'm headed to the land of Nada. I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm only about hmm, four, four miles from the parking spot. I'll get back to you. You got some history today anyway. What the hell? Look at that. I hadn't seen that before. There's a barbecue place. They had a big pig on the end of the building. Somebody painted a big pig on there. <laughs> That's probably Malvin's barbecue. Yep, Malvin Brothers Barbecue. As we cross this bridge right here, on the right hand side is where the land of Nada begins. First Street. Right there. There's all the fishing boats, Rudy Inlet, all the charter boats, all kinds of boats. Anything you want to do boat wise is in there. Now I got I park on 26th Street, so I got a few blocks to go to get to the parking spot. But as you can see, there's not a speck of rain right now. I'll pull into the parking lot, I mean the parking space, and uh, check the radar and make a decision. I'll get back to you. I'm here to land of Nada. Not a drop of rain, but it looks terrible, terrible, terrible. Man, we had some rain here too. Look at that parking lot. Hey, Google Mooga. I got the uh, Super Duper Excal today. I got the uh, Equinox in the back seat. Hiding under my rain jacket. And the lawnmower blades right over there. Let me get my little pouch out of here. And I'll get back to you. Problem sometimes down here, if it rains, rain is no problem. But if there's a touch of thunder or lightning, the damn lifeguards, they close the beach. And won't let anybody on the beach. If you follow me for a long time, you know you see us get run off a lot in the summertime. But right now, there's no thunder, no rain, and no lightning. We're almost getting ready to enter the land of Nala, Surf Church Sunday. The beach has got some big rolls in it, some loops or whatever you want to call them, and it's angry. I think the tide's low in about, I'm not sure, hour and a half maybe, maybe two hours, I don't remember. All righty, let's go. A big old waves crashing on the beach, right where I want to be, it's too bad, look at that. I've been seven blocks, no targets, not the first one. Not a coin, not a penny. I heard some nulls, but I haven't dug them. I'm coming up on uh, 17th Street. If I don't find anything, I'm gonna turn around and go back the other way. It's not too bad, it looks kind of rough down that way. But it's nice, other than that, it looks bad. Few depositors, you see. Waves are crashing. 
Look at this baby right here. Right where I need to be. I just don't feel like getting in there and getting banged up. But that's the best of it right there. Right there. I gotta hang around up here a little bit high. All right, clouds. I'm gonna turn around right here. I felt my first raindrop. Well, I'm headed back. No targets. No targets yet, that is. Might not be no targets. It's a bad day when the best you can find is lawnmower blades. I can tell you that. <laughs> Good day for your pocketbook, but a bad day for spinning. Monsters, monsters. Uh-oh, there goes the scoop. Join us for dinner. We're having dinner now. Good. It rain has held off, but it looks terrible here as it did everywhere else I've been today. Some crab boots. Let's see, use them for catching crabs. That's a hand boat. It takes people fishing right now to Bay Princess. <laughs> Thank you.